not sure if you're on the other side. Sorry, man. No, it's okay. Oh, my, okay. <laughs> it's all right. Sorry, man's umbrella here. It's all right. Blessed are you who come here in God's name, a God called by many names. I join with my brothers and sisters, my siblings, to stand up for equality, fairness, inclusion, and acceptance. I march with you today to say that the right and safety of people who identify as LGBTQIA, native people, people of color, people with disabilities, women, survivors of sexual assault, refugees, Jews, Muslims, and many others must be, be respected and protected. And the essence of this message Sorry. is echoed in the Sorry. teachings of Jesus yeah. and Muhammad yeah. and Baha'u'llah. I protest with you today as a Jew. The Jewish community knows too well that hate, hate speech leads to hate-fueled violence. We stand by our rallying cry, never again. The Jewish community will not stand idly by while our civil rights are, are, are limited and the security and safety of our neighbors are threatened. We will not stand idly by. Bomb threats and anti-Semitic slurs will not deter us. We march to reaffirm our values of democracy and a renewed commitment to working for justice. I rally today with you as a leader. The first recorded moment of civil disobedience in the Bible takes place this week in our Torah portion from the book of Exodus. We learn from our leaders that leadership comes in many forms, from the midwives who risk their lives resisting Pharaoh's unjust decree, to Moses, who had to work through his own fears and hesitations in order to step up. In the weeks and months ahead, we will need many leaders to bravely stand up for those who are vulnerable. As the great civil rights activist and theologian, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel taught, just as the forces of fascism are evil, we must be just as, if not more so, forcefully good. I journey today with you as a rabbi. As a rabbi, I stand on the shoulders of giants throughout Jewish history, rabbis who have had a prophetic voice. We have called our communities into action. I conclude with the words from why we went, a joint letter from the 15 rabbis arrested in St. Augustine, Florida in 1964 is part of the civil rights movement. We came to St. Augustine because we could not stay away. We came because we could not stand idly by and silently by our brother's blood. We have done this too many times before. We have been vocal in our exhortation of others, but the idleness of our own hands too often revealed an inner silence Silence at a time when silence has become the unpardonable sin of our times. Yes, yes. We came in the hope that the God of us all would accept our small involvement as partial atonement for the many things we wish we had done before and often. We came because we know, second only to silence, the greatest danger to humanity is loss of faith in humanity's capacity to act. <laughs> 